to uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, uh, you've got to get some police stingers. Uh, only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> the first driver will pilot one of... Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's going to take a big crew. First... Yeah, I can't say I was too impressed with Kareem on the Bureau Raid. But he could have a better idea of what we need now, and he's still cheap. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Hey, you gotta give the guy some cred for coming out of the Bureau with his, uh, abilities. I reckon he learned something. <laughs> Not enough to charge more. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, oh. all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? 
I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy! And sit in a steam room. And trust me, I get higher than any of you fools. You ain't never been high as me. Do you know our ancestors practiced the ancient type of yoga? Michael, you see did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look. I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. You know what I did? In my head, it's a TV. An old school TV. The kind you turn with your hand. Not the kind that needs a remote control. In my head, it's an old TV, right? Sitting on legs. This ain't no flat screen. This TV bigger than the damn refrigerator. And it has a knob on it. And it's channels. And my brain is turning them damn channels. Just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim, you're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color Landstalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right?
eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> Let me take you home. You're now tuned into our pirate signal coming at you live. Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. Do you think, do you think it's over? Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world is... He's gone. Are you sure? Because the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. You'll stay away. But... but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like, someone posts something, and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like... My balls is prettier than that baby. And then I sent him a picture of my balls. I seen Roadkill prettier than that baby. 
the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right? E fucking enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. Hey, you. All right, the troll can come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Damn, that car is fine. Hey, Terry. You gotta start getting me some kids and some bigger names. You see, listeners? Fight me, man. Oh, my God. And under your chakra, I've been telling you for years, one day, I will be reunited with my father! <laughs> Put on some hard on this girl. Put some hard on more than a father and a son. Conspiracy connect them. Daddy, I've been crocheting you an Afghan quilt and scrapbooking and keeping a photo album. Hey, I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. We should send him all of your books and one of those stand-up cardboard cutouts of you alming. Dad, we gotta do some touching shit to go. Heartfelt spiritual moments like on the greedy car commercial. Are you gonna take me fishing? <laughs> I love fishing. Ha! I just called to say you're an embarrassment, boy. What? As soon as everyone here in prison found out that I was your father, now the whole place makes fun of me. There's a reason I left you all these years ago. You're a puss, boy. A bullying, nasty, creepy, liberal wuss. I'm glad I'm gonna die in here and won't have to endure ever meet you in person. Goodbye! Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Dr. Randy Angelo Harris is about to cry live on the air. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. I'm sorry, but... Here for the magic touch? Better than when she came in, that's for sure. I'll put it like this. It ain't gonna rust, okay?
try not to take flight. 